Hey there, welcome to another episode of Heads Up for Hosers, a series of training videos that explain hydraulic hose and fittings. Today, we'll be going over the most popular hydraulic fluid connectors in North America, the SAE 45 and the SAE 37, also known as JIC fittings. The SAE 45 degree flare connection is used in low pressure applications such as automotive, refrigeration, and air conditioning, as well as others. The SAE 37 degree is commonly used for higher pressure applications. So for the purpose of this video, we'll be focusing on the SAE 37 degree connection. JIC or SAE 37 come in a variety of different materials. The most common material for hydraulic applications are carbon steel and stainless steel. SAE 37 degree or 45 degree fittings work by sealing on a metal to metal surface. They have a parallel thread. This is different than other fittings that use a tapered thread or an O-ring to create the seal. JIC uses a flared seating surface, which means they can be reused, resealed reliably and easily. This is very convenient for industries where equipment is being changed out repeatedly in the field. It is important to note that although SAE 37 and 45 have different flared ends, they can still be used together to create a seal. This is true in all sizes except a dash 6 and a dash 12, which have their own unique sizing. JIC is available in a range of sizes starting at dash 2 all the way up to dash 40. Now, you're probably asking what a dash size is. A dash size is the determination of sizes for hose, tube, and fitting measurements. This is measured in 1 16th inch segments. In this video series, we'll deal mostly with hose and fittings, but note that for tubing, the dash size calculation is slightly different. Now here's a couple of hose examples. When dealing with most types of hose, dash 4 equals 4 1 16th inch segments, which equals 4 16ths or equal to one quarter of an inch hose ID. Another example is dash 32. This is equal to 32 1 16th inch segments, which equals 32 sixteenths, or is equal to two inch hose ID for most types of hose. Okay, now we have to determine if we have a 37 or a 45 degree fitting. For this, we will need a fitting along with your calipers to make your measurements. You'll see on the caliper that there's a 37 degree point as well as a 45 degree point. These are the points you'll use to identify the flare. You take your calipers using the 45 degree point you can see that it is off center. You do not have a 90 degree angle. Next, taking your 37 degree point, you put it on the flare and you can see you've created a 90 degree. You've now confirmed that this is a 37 degree JIC fitting. The next step is to properly identify the size of the JIC fitting you're working with. You'll want to take out your thread pitch gauge, which you'll be using later, and your thread identification booklet. You want to turn it to the appropriate page to be able to help you identify the thread. So you want to take your fitting along with your caliper. To, as this is a male fitting, you'll want to measure the outside OD of the threads. Now JIC is known as a straight thread or parallel thread, so you can measure anywhere along the fitting. 
remember to angle your calipers as I'm doing here to ensure a proper thread OD measurement. This measures 1 and 1 16th of an inch. So you take your book, you go to your male thread and find 1 and 1 16th. You've now confirmed that this is a dash 12 fitting. You want to do one final confirmation. Looking at nominal thread size for a dash 12 fitting, it states that 1 and 1 16th dash 12 means that this fitting has 12 threads per inch. You want to take your fitting and you want to take your thread pitch gauge. You want to find number 12 on the thread pitch gauge and apply it to the threads. It is a nice fit, so you've confirmed that this is 12 threads per inch, which and a 1 and 1 16th thread OD, confirming that this is a number 12 JIC. We also want to give you an example of measuring or identifying a female JIC 37 degree fitting. If you look at the inside of this female fitting, you will see there is a 37 degree flare at the bottom to make sure that they seat properly. When identifying or measuring female threads, you want to measure the thread pitch, the flare, as well as the inside ID of the fitting. First, we're going to measure the flare. Taking your calipers, putting the 45 degree flare on it, you can see that it is not at a 90 degree. So it is clearly not a 45. Taking your 37 degree end, you can see that it now forms a correct 90, properly identifying this as 37 degrees. Next, you'll want to take your calipers and measure the inside ID of the fitting. This clearly measures one inch ID. Now that you've determined your ID and your thread pitch, you can now reference your book to determine which dash size you have. By referencing the female thread ID column, we go down to one inch to confirm that it is a dash 12 JIC fitting. You should take note that the male OD and the female ID differ despite being the same dash size. This is the same for all fittings. At Greg's, we recommend the FLATS method of installation for JIC fittings. This prevents over tightening which can cause cracks and leaks. A flat of a fitting is the flat face of the nut where the wrench attaches. The flats method consists of three steps, but remember to check your fitting for any abnormalities or debris before installing. Step one, hand tighten the fittings together until they bottom out. Step two, take your marker and mark the female and male ends. Step three, take your wrench and tighten the nut the number of flats based on the dash size you determined earlier. As seen on this chart, dash 12 rotates no more than one to one and a half flats. This does not mean full rotations. This is the flats of the fitting. You do not need to memorize this chart as you can reference it as needed. This has created a secure and leak proof seal. We now know how to properly identify and install SAE 45 degree and 37 degree flare fittings. 
If you have any further questions about these fittings or what we have learned today, feel free to contact any of our host specialists or order desk staff who are always happy to help. See you next time on Heads Up for Hosers and have a great Canadian day.